Neuroendocrine tumors of the pancreas are slow-growing tumors, uh, which usually do not produce any symptoms early on. So actually, they're very often diagnosed incidentally when we're doing a CAT scan or an MRI for some other reason unrelated to the tumor. They can present with as big tumors in the pancreas, or they can present just with a rare, rare, very unique symptoms like diarrhea, flushing, uh, abdominal pain. Some pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors are difficult to treat because they are discovered late when they've already advanced outside the pancreas and spread to other organs, most uh, commonly the liver or, or also bone. Uh, and some pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors are difficult to treat because they are difficult to find. If we find them early on, uh, they are surgically removed. Um, in the more advanced uh, situation, uh, they usually require a multidisciplinary approach, uh, sometimes some combination of surgery, systemic or targeted therapies, and sometimes ablative techniques or embolization techniques. We have world-renowned experts in interventional radiology, in endoscopy and an endosco endoscopic ultrasound and other advanced and specialized endoscopic techniques, and a world-renowned team in minimally invasive uh, surgeons. The oncologist is involved in the care of these patients uh, to administer systemic therapy. Uh, very often this is uh, giving medications like octreotide to block receptors on the tumor, which will make it grow more slowly. Um, and sometimes to give a targeted therapy if the tumor has metastasized. The ideal approach for this uh, surgically, if it's occurring uh, in certain parts of the pancreas, is uh, robotic. Um, the robotic approach um, allows for resection of parts of the pancreas without damaging other nearby organs, uh, which typically with the open approaches occurs more often. Personalized medicine is used to identify specific features of tumors and then design treatment. Personalized medicine can range from uh, specific imaging techniques to DNA sequencing. Using the DNA sequencing, we can identify specific mutations and then determine what medical treatments, what, what drugs might best be used, best be targeted uh, to treat a specific tumor. The management of pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors at Weill Cornell New York Presbyterian Hospital is, I think, fundamental to better patient outcomes. These patients that present with pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors uh, are in a database for long-term follow-up. Um, therefore, these patients will uh, get continual imaging, uh, continual oncological follow-up and surgical follow-up to evaluate their progress. Our approach here involves a multidisciplinary team that is that incorporates all facets of diagnosis and treatment, including personalized medicine, to best design a treatment program for an individual patient. This continual team approach allows for better follow-up, um, hopefully reduced recurrence, and if the recurrence does occur in, your, in that tumor that you have presented with, um, the management of that is approached not only just by one approach, by multiple different disciplines.